It's Tony here from Re-Evolution Arts. I'm with Tash, the uh, manager hey. of the Cotswold. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. Tell us a little bit about the history of the, uh, the pub and the venue. Cotswold's always been quite well known for its music, um, for putting entertainment and things like that on. And it's always been quite a hub of the community of Cheltenham, really. Um, a lot of people that come in here have been coming here for 30 odd years, some people 50 years, you know, so a long time. Um, and music's been a big part of that. Um, we've been here ourselves for uh, 12 years now. It's a family run business, so it's myself and my dad. So we've got a good rapport with all of our customers that come in, all, you know, everybody that we have to deal with um, supplier wise and things like that. It's just helped us to build up this really nice little community, um, keep, keeping things going. Everybody's really supportive of anything we, that we do. Um, they come down and get involved. So yeah, it's, it's great. There's been very different landlords and I know for a while there was a stage where there were a few landlords that sort of they were in for a short amount of time then they were off again and then we came in and we've been sort of the next solid solid set really for the last 12 years so we hope to keep it going um, we hope to you know expand our music do a bit more with that um, I've got another bar that I want to start using more often so yeah there's lots lots of potential for the future as well which is great um, it's the second year of the competition, it's all going really well. So basically um, the audience get a chance to get involved. Um, every drink they buy they get a token and then they come up to us and they can choose which band they want to vote for, whichever was their favourite. A lot yeah. of bands involved. Yeah, a lot of bands involved. So 18 bands all together. Um, so it was quite a lot sorting it all out, working it all out, but we got there. And obviously I've got varying different people doing sound and things like that. So it's been quite a big thing pulling it all together. Um, but we've got there and it's, it's working, so it's fantastic. That's great. And you're introducing new bands to Cheltenham? Yes, that's the idea, is um, trying to introduce new and upcoming bands um, who are trying to get their foot in in Cheltenham. Maybe they've been um, elsewhere in the country um, and they want to head down this way to the southwest. Just giving, giving a space, a platform for um, originals bands, covers bands, just for music within Cheltenham. Because um, it's something that's sort of gone down a little bit in the last few years. Not so many places are doing it, so we want to make sure that we're still giving everywhere that platform to come along and perform and do what they want, you know, do their thing. Could you tell us anything about what you're planning for the rest of the year, next year? Uh, yeah, a little bit. So I've got a few um, a few things at my sleeve. Um, I mean, we will be doing another Battle of the Bands competition, so that one will be coming along next year. Um, but I'm also going to be looking at utilising our downstairs bar a little bit more because um, it's a lovely space and it's great for acoustics and things like that. So um, I'm thinking about maybe, well, at the moment we do a lot with bands and originals and covers bands, it's always quite sort of big acts. Um, so I'm looking at maybe doing a bit more for acoustic and solo acts, which would be nice to do some intimate gigs downstairs, mm -hmm. maybe with a little bit of food and things like that. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm looking to extend in, in other directions 